please introduce yourself and tell us who you play in Over the Moon. Hi, my name is Sandra O, oh, and I play Mrs. John. What drew you to this project? Uh, there are many things that drew me to this project, but primarily it's my relationship with Audrey Wells, the writer, and to be a part of this story. What was it like working with Glenn? Can you describe his directorial style? Oh, Glenn's style is like really easy going, right? But it's, he also has a, so much experience uh, uh, that you're always feeling safe. Um, and he's very, very, very generous. He's very, very generous. Um, and he's also very aware of exactly what tone or where you are in the storytelling and how you need to adapt your voice or your interpretation of the character in a, in a line to, because because he's clearly making it in his head. You know what I mean? He's clearly figuring out it in, in his head as as you are giving the dialogue. So he's he's adapting, he's directing you based on what's in his head. What does it mean to, to you to be a part of this Asian story and an all Asian cast? I'm thrilled. It's great. You know, it's, it, it's great. Um, uh, and it's also like, one thing I am a little weary of is that this is not only, it's not the first. It's not the first for me. And it's not the first for Asian actors, filmmakers. You, you know what I mean? So in in the world of the celebration that it's continuing a, a, a more diverse storytelling, I'm very happy to be a part of it. What do you think audiences worldwide will love about this film? That it brings, it brings some joy. You know, it brings some joy. It's got great music. It has beautiful animation. It's a lovely story. And you know, it's a very difficult time for everyone. And to be able to sit down you know, on your own or with your family or that you can share it, you know, through Zoom with your family, you know, like some family members can watch it here and some family members can watch it there. Um, and just to have a little bit of joy, I think is hopefully what people will get from this film. What was your favorite part of working on the film and any fun facts? Favorite part of working on the film is actually being in the booth with John Cho. I haven't seen him in so long. I mean, I've known John for a long time. I can't even figure out where we met. But John and I have known of each other and, you know, supported each other for, for many, many years. And this is also the difference. It's, a, it's really nice now for m many of us who've been in the business for a while to now actually be able to act with each other because it's always been just one of us <laughs> anywhere. So to be able to have a grouping of us is 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 terrific it's great i mean i hope i continue acting with john right? you know and and ruthie and philippa and kathy you know now that we've you know gotten to know each other a little bit you know is the mid-autumn holiday significant to you and your korean family and can you say whether you've had chinese mooncakes and whether you enjoy them oh my god chinese mooncakes so good so good but, it, but it's, it's almost like, um, it's like, don't think that you're just going to munch them all down. Do you know what I mean? You can't just go, blah, blah, blah. I mean, maybe you could, because it's like a, that's, no, you can't. It's like, but they're delicious. I love moon cakes. Um, and so in uh, Korean tradition, there's this uh, autumn festival it's called Chuseok. Um, it wasn't necessarily a, 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 a big uh, ritual in my family. Because, you know, um, being Canadian, uh, this autumn time is divided into Canadian Thanksgiving and then Halloween. And we really adopted uh, a lot of the North American traditions. But Chisok is a, it's like Thanksgiving. You know what I mean, it's a part of autumn, it, uh, you know, harvest. 